Good morning. We are uh, post birthday um, for the boyo, and I am um, well happy that you're here. First of all, um, in case I didn't mention, this is Christina with the Geocache family, and um, we are glad you are here with us. Um, I am trying to thin down my plant shelf because it is very, very overgrown. Um, I've got to start moving some of these babies out because I'm starting my sunflowers, I'm starting the melons, the pumpkins, and the squash. So I've got to start um, rearranging things better. So this is what we are tackling um, today. Um, we have morning chores that we need to get done and then um, I'm going to move these ornamental grasses outside. So I've got um, bunny tails, frosted grass, and broom corn, which is actually just a grass. Um, but this is the um, grass that they used to make brooms with um, back in the olden days. So um, we are just growing it to see what it's like and, um, you know, just to kind of have fun with it. So We're almost there. Oh, he's so happy. He gets to go. Nope. Come here. <laughs> I caught her. <laughs> you let that kitty cat go. You let that kitty cat go. He's a happy kitty cat. He's going to go walk with his mom. You can throw that back in her bed. I'm almost at the point that I can put all of my seed starting stuff away we have had rain the last two days and it has been cold i'm gonna try and go outside and do some direct seeding so that is my goal and then starting the rest of my indoor seeds my my summer stuff all the different varieties of squashes have been planted and so i just have melons I started the pumpkins. I have a few gourds. And then today is my peppers and my eggplant. And then everything has been started, uh, except for what I'm direct sowing. So direct sowing is going to be the radishes, uh, beets, and uh, kohlrabi, bok choy also. And then, um, then we just water and wait. Hey, Grumposaurus. So mean to that puppy. They're so mean. Oh, do you hear him? That is the baby. Out of all of the babies these guys have raised over the years, even when there was like four babies in the nest, they were not nearly as loud as what this little singleton is. He's almost fully feathered out, and um, he's starting to make some of the adult cheeps, which is so cute. I'm going to take you outside and show you something else that happened yesterday, too. So my neighbors um, were digging up these grasses out of their front yard, and every year I, uh, oh, I love those grasses. I love them so much. And when I saw that she was digging them up, Naya and I went over and asked if there was any way um, we could take them off of their hands. And they were more than happy to give them to us. So we have got to um, keep this one really watered while hopefully it establishes. And then um, when it gets going, I can trim it back. Uh, so I'm leaving all of the dead stuff on it now to kind of protect it from the bun buns who are in here with them and um, the turkeys so they had two of them so the second one I stuck right there and so it just makes it look prettier I, I love it so that uh, that is the hope that's what we we tackled um, last night actually the middle and I tackled that and then Let's look in here. We had rain yesterday, but I don't know if it was enough. So I may still have to come in here and water. But 
Um, I did get a lot of the cabbages down if you hadn't seen and my snap peas are coming up like crazy back there. They look amazing. Everybody transplanted really well. I mean, I broke the cardinal rule about hardening plants off before you bring them out, but um, I did put the white fabric on it for um, two days. And so that definitely seemed to help because they're doing great. Um, either that or is just because they're cold crops. <laughs> they don't need as much acclimating. But uh, yeah, everybody is looking great in here. Oh, I love it. Look at these collards. They're so stinking cute. Did you see the lilac? She's starting to really fill out. I've got volunteer seeds coming up everywhere, so I'm not pulling anything until I have a better idea of what's coming up. I see a lot of sunflowers, and that's totally okay, because I love sunflowers. It's my favorite flower. Um, all right, let's see how these guys are doing. Hi, babies. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, man, look at that guy. He is super happy out here. Oh, yeah, these guys are they are doing great. I love seeing all of the green in here. Oh, they're going to be beautiful. She choked herself, didn't she? Yeah. Good job, Hayes. Anyway, these two beds are looking great, minus these stupid systems that make it try to keep them out. But I, if I go in, they follow me in, and then they trample babies. So hopefully in another week we will have those done. But oh, look at all of the green. I love it. All of the babies. And then my new grass. So I think the bunny tail grass, I'm going to plant in here around the bunny colony. Even though they're not out here all of the time, I think it would be super stinking cute. And it gives them enough shade that um, I don't think I have to harden them off. So I did put some sacrifice cabbages back here. Um, so I think I'll put the bunny grass more towards the front of the pots. Uh, so it can grow up around it. Frosted grass, I'm probably going to line the edges of the coop, the front of the coop, and back here on this new extension we put for the turkeys and chickens. Um, I really want to have green back here, but uh, there's no way to do that without birds eating it. So maybe if I get hanging baskets back here it would look good but yeah that's the bad thing when you got these birds they they like to eat green stuff so anyway hopefully this weekend we will have these beds here finished um, and then I can start getting some fresh dirt in there um, my hubby buys me dirt every year for Mother's Day and so um, we can start moving it back here into the beds to layer on top of the mulch. And then I can put straw on top of that. And then I have some awesome, amazing soil back here. I already have awesome, amazing soil, but to um, be able to have it, uh, you know, go super deep and everything, it'll be great. So finish cleaning up back here. We've got a pooper scoop because it smells like dog everywhere back here clean up hazel carnage because she destroys boxes <sighs> yeah feels good it's a nice day oh I needed this nice day my body hurt so bad the last couple days so this is awesome I gotta figure out these guys I think have to be I have to research it again but I think I need to plant them close together so that they can cross pollinate each other but I'm not totally sure so I have to look that up Hey guys. 
I love that we um, moved this gate over here now because I can sit right by the bunnies. They're right behind me. And then right here, and then these guys come and just talk to me, huh? 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 Look at how beautiful they're getting. Oh, so pretty. All right, so baby broom corn is planted all along the outside of the bunny run, our bunny colony. I didn't put it close to the fence um, just in case we do end up going in on the neighbors uh, and replacing this fence because it needs it. Um, so anyway, it should just be growing up on the back side here. It will give them shade. Um, we put bricks along both ways. We ran out so we couldn't go any further, but then we went ahead and stuck over this piece so that Hazel cannot keep going back there and trampling and terrorizing the bun buns. Rylan is hooking a piece of wire uh, to the door so that we can um, hold it open so the bunnies can go in and out of their hutches um, throughout the day. So they're protected. Rylan also watered the baby sacrifice cabbages. Maya is massaging Ty's face. She is the sweetest of the three hens. She loves being snuggled. <laughs> Ty. I am. Ty, look at her. She's such a sweet hen. Do you love her? Do you love her so much? Hi, baby. Yeah, you're a good girl. I like you. I don't like the other two. <laughs> They're punks. I don't like them. Oh, you found them all. All the marigolds. <laughs> All right, we gotta find places for them that Hazel doesn't destroy them. Nyarine, what are you doing to that dang dog? <laughs> she is not your own personal horse. <laughs> She's not putting her weight on her. <laughs> on her. She's not putting her weight on her. Dude, <laughs> his beak is so strong already. And he's what, five, five and a half? Oh, here comes Jack. She's like, wait a minute, what's going on over there? <laughs> Ow. All right, hold on. Let me get some more. I love that they come to eat this stuff because the others did not. She's like, but I like it too. It tastes good. Yes, yeah, she was fed unless it's 12. I mean, it's probably getting close. It's 11:37, so yeah, it's pretty close to lunch. But she apparently likes spring mix. I mean, this dog eats everything. <laughs> Practically everything that's food. Not there's not a single thing she won't eat. You want that? She's like, yes. All right, go. All right, go, Hazel. Go. Go, baby doll. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, quit fighting. Jeez. Ouch. Oh, oh, those beaks. I don't think they like the red ones as much. They eat all the green ones, but they kind of throw the red down. Soon we'll have greens for you guys growing. <laughs> oh, see? See how he's ignoring the red one? <laughs> he ignores anything that's red and goes just for the green stuff. Ow! <laughs> you guys! <laughs> oh, you're not cute little babies no more. <laughs> Gangly, rough teenagers. Look at his crop. Like, it is sticking out so freaking far. Alright, I gotta give this to the ducks, you guys. The duckies need some too. We're gonna plant the frost grass. I don't know. That's it. The rest is for the chickens and ducks. 
Look at how cute. All three of them are in the same hutch. Oh my goodness. What do you think, huh? We have a bunny colony. Look at this. It's it is a very small colony. This is a colony. This is an urban colony. <laughs> small colony. 